What is up YouTube? It is the Bill Outdoors here. Today is June 20th of 2023. I am here in Maryland. In front of me, this is the Potomac River. We might do a little bit of fishing in the river, but our main focus is going to be on the side streams. There's going to be some species in there that we supposedly don't have yet. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of micro fishing and then we're going to probably come over the river and maybe throw some trout magnets around and see if I can get a particular species of sunfish to show up. Um, so we got a couple targets on the menu today. A couple darter species, the green side and the rainbow darter. Those ones might be a little tricky to find, but they're supposedly in and around these streams. And then we have the blue head chub that we're after, long ear sunfish, that would be the sunfish species we're looking for. Um, silver jaw minnow, Fathead minnow supposedly might branch off into some of these creeks. And there's more targets we're after, but that's all that comes to mind right now. So I got on a little micro rig here. Same thing we were pretty much using last time when I ended uh, last episode on the channel. So we got a little micro hook on there. I have like a little piece like pill bug on there or something like that because I was having difficulty finding worms. I found one little tiny worm that can probably split into two or three pieces depending on how much of it gets stolen. But I'm gonna save that for um, a good darter if I see a darter. But right now we're just gonna cruise the shallows here and see if there's anything that wants to take a bait. All right guys, we got our first fish of the day here. It is not one of our targets. It's a little Eastern mosquito fish. Pretty cool little guy, but we're just gonna take a shot and let this guy go. Well guys, I've been hunched over these darters for about 30 to 45 minutes now and I've gotten some to bite, but they just don't get hooked. I've been trying so hard, but have been failing so far. I haven't even gotten to the creek I was trying to fish because I've been so obsessed with trying to catch these darters. I just need one to stay on the hook, but it's proving a difficult task. All right, guys, let me give my back a bit of a break and venture into the little stream I had planned to fish before I come back out here. Whew. There's lots and lots of fish in the shallows here. Some big darters that I'm seeing now. But uh, yeah, these crazy fish don't really wanna bite. They like to give me a hard time instead. Another species for the day. We got ourselves a little blunt nosed minnow here. One we've caught before, so not too exciting, but let's take a shot and release this guy. All right, guys, I finally got one of the darters here. This one's a fairly decent size. I have it in my hand, so I'm not going to lose them. I'm going to walk up on the rocks here. Let's see. That looks like your standard tessellated darter there. So that's unfortunate. I'll take a shot of them though, just to be sure. I don't believe that is the green side darter or rainbow darter we are after. Got another fish here. Let's see what we got. This is a type of chub here. It's either going to be a river or blue head chub. Hopefully that's a blue head chub because that would be a new species for me. So let me take some shots of this guy and let him go. All right, guys, last look at our little chub here. Hoping this is a blue head chub because that would be a new species for me, but there's a chance it could be a river chub too. So once I figure out the actual identification, I'll put it in the um, subtitles down below. Got that guy on the pill bug. I ran out of my little pieces of worm, so I'm gonna, probably gonna have to try and find some more worm scraps later but we're working with the pill bugs for now. All right guys, another little chub here. This one looks a little more river chub-esque than the last one, but it does have a little spot on the tail there. 
I don't know. Let me take a shot of this guy and figure out what he is later. There we go, guys. Another species on the board. This one we should all be familiar with. This is an eastern black-nosed dace. I don't even think I'm going to take a shot of this guy. Because we caught so many in the past. So we're just going to get him unhooked and let him go. I was able to find some more worms, so hopefully when it comes comes time to target the darters again, we'll be ready and loaded with plenty of bait. Alright guys, not seeing much in this little side stream here, so I'm going to head out back to the main river and try again for more darters. I got the one, but I think that was just a tessellated darter. Still looking for confirmation on that, um, but I will leave it in the subtitles below once I find out. So I'm going to try for darters because there's supposedly some green side darters there and maybe a few rainbow darters. And then we're going to try for long ear sunfish, see if those show up. And if not, then we're probably going to move spots somewhere else. Where to I haven't completely decided yet. I think I just saw a rainbow darter and spooked it. That's annoying. I think he's under this rock here now. Alright guys, the darter fishing isn't working out. I'm going to tie on a lure and see if I can get some bigger species out of this river here. There's some slow water over here, so I'm thinking there might be some fish in there that we can find. Hopefully our sunfish that we're after will show up, but we shall see. Alright guys, so far fishing has been slow. Did not succeed in catching the darter we were after yet, but I still have another spot in mind where they might be at. I tied on the trout magnet and now it's time to try and catch some bigger species of fish. You're not going to catch anything too big with the trout magnet, but you never know. So I'm going to start just fan casting around and seeing what shows up. Alright, not exactly what we're after here. We're trying to catch long ear sunfish. This is a smallmouth bass. Just a little guy. Go ahead and unhook them. Just a little one. Back in the water he goes. I might run down to the mouth of this river, the Monocacy River, to where it meets the Potomac. I think that's a probably a better spot to get what we're after but we shall see all right guys it took forever but I finally got the fish I was after and my goodness is it a beautiful sample it's a little short and stocky but that is the long ear sunfish look how beautiful that guy is I'm gonna take a quick shot while I have him in hand and I'm gonna try and get him to the safety of the bank so I can take a better picture but I want to get this guy some water. I was jigging the trout magnet with the piece of worm on there. And there he is. Beautiful long ear sunfish. That is species number 127 for me. That darter I caught was just a tessellated darter. And that chub I got was just a regular river chub. But that, that is a long ear sunfish there. And a beautiful one at that. Let's take another shot of this guy and let's let him go. Alright guys, long ear sunfish is going to go back in the water. Got the hook popped out of his mouth. One last look at that pretty fella. He's going to go back in the water. He is good to go. So I was just using the trout magnet jig head and I just tipped a little bit piece of worm on there. And we got the long ear sunfish we were after. I so very happy about that. trying to decide what to do here. I have one pretty big piece of worm left that I was going to save to chop into tiny little pieces when I go micro fishing at my other spots. But 
I kind of want to chop like a quarter of it off and go in and try and get another long ear because that fish was really cool. So I think I might do that. I'm going to chop a little piece off. Then I'm probably going to see if I can catch one of those long ears again and then probably move to my other spot. Well, it's a good thing we kind of plan to microfish at this spot because it is also pretty high and muddy. So we're going to be sticking to the shallows and bouncing around different rocks and seeing if we can come up with one of the darter species we're after. And there's a very small possibility of silver jaw minnow here as well. But those three, the silver jaw minnow, green side, and rainbow darter are really going to be the only targets here that would be new for us. So I'm going to get rigged up and get in there. <sighs> well, <clears throat> I don't like to say it, but that is probably going to do it for today. Conditions were tough. We didn't have a whole lot of sunlight. Water was a little high and muddy. We caught a couple, a couple different species today. I think five or six or so, maybe more. I have to go back and try and identify some of them. Um, the one chub that we caught, the Nokomis chub, um, could end up being a new species for me um, based off of what other people are saying. But so far, one of them was probably a river chub. The one with a longer snout and the one with a shorter snout was probably a blue head chub, but that's still not guaranteed. So we're still going to count it for now. But looking back, we may have to take it off the list. But as of now, it's a blue head chub in my book. So that's going to be another new species. So we should be at 128 now that we're ending the day. Which is pretty good. Um, I'll also be doing some nighttime fishing tomorrow night, as long as the plan stays the same. I won't be able to record because it'll be pitch black outside, but I'm going to be doing some headlamp fishing in New Jersey for some species of fish that I don't have yet. So if I get any of those, which hopefully I will, I will include the pictures of those at the end of this video since this video wasn't very long but yeah the long year sunfish was definitely the highlight of my day very cool to catch that I'm very happy to not end up getting skunked on the lifers after driving nearly three hours so not a terrible day but not a great day so thank you guys for watching the video hopefully you guys at least enjoyed some of it if you did, be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next episode of The Villa Outdoors.